Hello everyone, Nukin here, and welcome back again to my channel. Back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video, and today we're going to be talking about a light side territory battle team dubbed Stun Clones. And right now you're watching them take down my node 6 of Galactic War, GW. And this is a team that some people have ran all the way through phase 6 and gotten perfect clears. I have personally ran them up to phases 4 and, or 5 and they're a pretty fun team to run. They're a nice change of pace from all the rebels and they're modded pretty much how you would run them in the tank raid but I will review their mods before the gameplay footage. Uh, make sure, just make sure to be paying attention to Aayla Secura's mods because she's not on the tank raid team. So before we get started please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you can see more future content and without further ado let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the mods here, starting with our leader, Cody. For Cody, I give him a speed set and a speed arrow. And my goal here is to get him as fast as possible. If you can get secondary speed on your mods like this, 11 speed, that is great. I got about eight speed on the cross. And if you can get some nice primaries like offense and crit chance on the triangle and cross, then you're in good shape as well. That's just a bonus. I have him at 207 speed. Not the quickest, but it gets the job done. Moving on to fives, he's running a crit damage set with a two-piece crit chance set, and I have a offense arrow on him. For secondaries, you're looking for uh, offense, almost said speed, crit chance, and potency. And I'm running a crit damage triangle and a potency cross, and potency is to land the speed down debuff. Now he's running at 47% crit chance and 2700 physical damage and he has 55% potency so pretty good. For Echo he's running a crit damage set with a two piece crit chance set. I have a offense arrow on him. For secondaries you're looking for crit chance and offense. I have a crit damage triangle on him and for the cross I have a offense cross and that is because he doesn't have any debuffs to land, so he doesn't need any potency. And now moving on to the stats, we have 47% crit chance and nearly 3k physical damage, so pretty good there. Moving on to our next clone, our last clone actually, Clone Sergeant, and I have a offense arrow on him. For the secondary stats, you're looking for some offense and some crit chance a crit damage triangle for him and he also doesn't really have any debuffs so uh, we're going to be running a offense uh, cross on clone sergeant so looking just for some high secondaries and offense and now to the stats so 48% crit chance 3k physical damage pretty good um, none of these heroes really need speed on them which is pretty good except for Cody and lastly we have Ayla who's running a crit damage set with a two-piece potency set and we're looking for basically potency secondaries we have a speed arrow on her for the triangle I'm running a crit chance triangle because she needs to crit to stun and I'm not really focused on damage for her and for the cross I'm running a potency cross so I can have that stun land because it goes through a potency tenacity check. Overall, I have her potency at 60% and her crit chance at 51%. And those are all the mods. All right, so now for <laughs> the gameplay. So we went through all the mods. Now here's the fun stuff. So the goal of the team, obviously, is to get six out of six on the waves. This is, I think, phase two or phase three of territory battles. I have tried them up to phase four or five, and they have not failed me yet. Now this is a gear 10 Cody and a gear 10 Ala Secura. So there is room for improvement, of course. And the first few waves are pretty easy, so not too much to talk about there. After every wave, it gets progressively harder and uh, there's, I think, a higher chance for elites, but don't quote me on that. So you kind of just can breeze through the first few rounds. Uh, it really gets harder around 
wave 4 or wave 5, depending on your mods and gear level. So we're going to wrap up this wave here, and I'll show you the technique of stun clones. So basically all of your damage is coming from the 212th attack and your control elements are coming from the speed down debuff from fives, the turn meter removal from clone sergeant, and the stun from Ala Secura. So that is where you're getting all the control elements. So it's not a lot of control, but it's enough, especially if your Cody is fast enough because you can really spam that 212th attack. So we're stunning and killing these guys, uh, kind of focus firing and spreading out the damage. About to hit wave five, and that's where we'll really start to see the action. All right, so here we go, wave five. So this is kind of how what you do here. You're looking to stun enemies. So that guy stunned, then we switch targets. Now that guy's stunned. Turn, remo reduce the turn meter of everyone. And stun this guy. So <laughs> just spreading out the stun. It's gonna stun this guy. Everyone gets stunned. That's why they're called stun clones. And you're really only able to do this because of the, the way that you're modding your Ala Secura, so you're really not focused on damage, you're focused on keeping everyone at bay with those stuns. Now, Ayla, her crit chance was at 50%, and then she gets half of Cody's leadership ability, so that's another 15%, and then her unique gives her some more crit chance, so her crit, her crit chance is very high, uh, nearly 100%, I believe. All right, and here is the final wave, so the same sort of strategy, you wanna stun, and then switch targets, stun that guy, reduce turn meter, one possible, stun, keep switching targets and stunning, and eventually you'll start to be able to burst down someone by using extra specials or the basics and 212th attack focus fire on the enemies. Typically, you just want to um, use 212. Sometimes it's nice to stun with Cody's first special, but I basically just spam the 212, and that's basically it. So we're going to wrap up this video right now. So this has been Stun Clones in Territory Battles. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.